Hey everyone, Lethco here from RetroReviewRevolution.com here to do a very quick and dirty pickups video. Uh, this is the stuff I picked up over in uh, the past month of March. Real quick, let's check them all out. First of all, I found a How to Win at Nintendo Games box set. has volumes 1, 2, and 3 in here of uh, how to beat numerous NES games. I guess there's a fourth volume whenever I did the research on this because I didn't know what I was picking up. I saw, ooh, it has how, how to win the Nintendo games on it. Pick it up. <laughs> but yeah, there's a fourth volume floating around that I don't own. I uh, picked up the Mario Mania Player's Guide for Super Mario World and has like the history of Mario up to the release of Mario World on the Super Nintendo, so yeah, not much of a history of Mario. He went on, didn't he? But, uh, interesting book. And some NES games. Here we have uh, Roadrunner for the NES. Heavy Shredding. Defender of the Crown. The Secret Scroll Flying Dragon, or if you uh, read it in this side, Flying Dragon, the Secret Scroll. And Infiltrator. Uh, I have trouble here lately coming across NES games I do not own at the used shop, so I was glad to find those. Now we're going to go into CDI games. We got some uh, demo discs for CDI, or pre-release, not for resale versions. Uh, we've got Clue, there's Jeopardy. Have no clue if these are actually worth anything or not. <laughs> uh, NFL Hall of Fame Football. And Max Magic. This next one is a, a CDI disc, but it's kind of interesting. It is the Magnavox 9495 Full Line Training Disc. Uh, it is still sealed. Don't know if you can tell from the camera look work there. Uh, created and distributed by Philips Sales and Products Training. This disc requires a CDI player. No clue what this is or if it's valuable or not. I tried to look up some info on it online, came up with nothing. So if any of you guys on YouTube know anything about this, leave a comment, tell me, because uh, I have no clue what I have here. Uh, going on into the CDI, we also have X-Men, Night of the Sentinels, a CDI movie. Uh, it still has a slipcase and everything on it. Kind of weird that the uh, drawing on the back don't really match the animation of the cartoon. Uh, the front matches the animation pretty well, though, but... Yeah, I'm a huge fan of the X-Men. Love the old Fox cartoon, so I uh, had to pick that one up. Moving on. Thunder in Paradise for the CDI. I'll definitely have to try this one out and review it, because... Uh, yeah, apparently that crappy... TNT show that Hulk Hogan was in whenever he joined WCW uh, also got a video game. Uh, CDI exclusive at that. Uh, looking at the screenshots, I have no clue. Just reading the back of it. Wow. I really thought that Thunder in Paradise was a horrible show. If you ever watched The Simpsons, uh, Homer got it right whenever he called it Night Boat, because it is a horrible ripoff of Knight Rider. <laughs> Next up, another sealed CDI game. This one is Mad Dog McCree. A decent little <clears throat> light gun full motion video game. Uh, requires a digital video cartridge. Not really sure if my CDI has that or not. Uh, haven't had time to really check on any of these, because I still need a power adapter for my CDI, but at least we got some discs to try out. Moving on to the PlayStation. I'm going to start doing PlayStation games. I wasn't picking them up for a long while, but uh, I figured why not start picking them up whenever we come across them really cheap. So here we are. I uh, picked up Star Trek Invasion today. Two ninety nine. I'm a big Star Trek fan. I think this is the only Star Trek game on the PlayStation One, so uh, should be interesting. Quake Two. Love the Quake Two on the PC. We're gonna see if the PlayStation version's worth anything or not. Uh, this one was actually a prize I got from uh, the Retro Gaming Roundup forums. Uh, Midway Greatest Hits, the uh, Midway Collection Volume 2, has a few uh, arcade games from Midway there, uh, Blaster, Burger Time, Joust, 
Actually, Joust 2, Survival of the Fittest. I didn't even notice that earlier. Moon Patrol, Root Beer Tapper, Splat, and Spy Hunter. And then closing off the pickups, I've picked up Colony Wars. Loved this game as a kid. Ran it at the rental store all the time. Never could actually find a copy of it. Well, now I have it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's it for the uh, pickups for March. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this. And until uh, next time, we will see you later.